today I'm doing one of my favorite things. I just loaded up some C200 color film in this Minolta camera that I have yet to test. So this is gonna be the first roll I'm shooting through this. I actually found it on Facebook Marketplace from an awesome guy named Bob and he said it was his dad's camera. But what I'm doing today is I'm doing one of my favorite things as of late, and that's thrifting. Head to local thrift stores. Last week I found an amazing Ikea Sono speaker for 20 bucks. And why I'm doing it on Wednesday after work is because, it's because 50% off at the Salvation Army here in Lancaster. Almost everything in the entire store is 50% off. And I mean, you take already cheap stuff, and basically just make it cheaper, I mean. Yeah. So as soon as I enter this location specifically, I head to the back area of the store where there's a ton of books and a ton of random stuff, electronics, kid stuff, and you never know what you're gonna find. A little bit of an answering machine. If you, you know, don't wanna deal with your voicemail, send it to your home line. This is where I found that IKEA speaker last week. Hmm. See if there's anything new from last week. Some old Minolta glass with a power zoom. Ooh. This thing has been here for a few weeks now. And I just can't bring myself to buy it just because I have an Instax printer and I absolutely love that thing. And with as much 35 millimeter film I've been shooting, I just would rather use the point and shoot and really get them printed and have then the negatives to do stuff with later rather than, I don't know, I just can't. What do we got? What do we got? It's a flash. So that was a strikeout, nothing, not even a t-shirt for Emmett. And now I'm trying to figure out, I wanted to shoot some of that roll of the C200, but it looks nasty outside. Ugh. It's a gnarly lightning. We were at this new location, Goodwill. It's raining, I don't want to get too wet. So we're just gonna do this. How does this look? Does this look better? Is this better? Hmm. Well, here at the Goodwill, never been here before. Let's see what we got. Electronics. Electronics. Hmm. Oh. Kodak? One second. Is there any? Nothing in here. But a two gig memory card. All right, so I got a chance to look this bad boy up. It is a Ricoh 126 CEE, and it's a viewfinder in your camera, and it was produced in 1969. And I'm gonna pass on it today because it's a f4.8, 40 millimeter focal length. And 40 millimeter to me is a super weird focal length. It's actually what I've been using on my Fuji XE4 a lot, which is a rangefinder point and shoot. And I love it, but at the same time, I absolutely love my 18 millimeter F2, which I use on that camera and it's an APS-C sensor, and that makes it more like a 28. And I feel like I see the world around me in a 28 millimeter, it's a little bit wider, and the 40 is a little bit too tight, so I'm not gonna bother with it. There's a battery in there, but it's not firing, so it's kinda like, eh, I don't really need it. Absolutely nothing in there. I got really excited when I saw that Kodak bag. I thought something was gonna be inside of it. There was nothing. And now, there was also no reception in there, so I don't know if there's anyone else close to look. And I think I'm just going to end up striking out and going home. But that's what's fun about it. Got to look. Stay consistent on looking. Come back next time. Can't win every time.
So I decided to stop by one more location, which is minutes from my house. And I've been on a call for the last 20 minutes and I've been sitting here waiting to look inside of this case and see what's inside here. I need to know what this is. Minolta. One of the Amazon Quick Grab CR123, what is it? A batteries and you can rip out the one that's in here and make sure the camera fires so you're not buying a dud camera. Oh okay, let's see if that works. Nope, not enough juice. Ooh. They're asking $12.99 for it, and on Amazon it's selling about $149 used. And it looks like this was last turned on in $98. Pretty cool, and it works. And, uh, well, it was firing. Hmm. Let's see. Cool. There we go. So it is firing. It's actually a 3.5 variable aperture. Um, I think it goes to F8 when you zoom it in. And I think I'm just gonna get 12 bucks. Why not? Shoot a roll through it and see what we like it. Black, cool, slides across. Comes a little case. Hell yeah, why not? Let's get it. A little more than I want to pay, especially with the last couple being like $5, but we're gonna put a roll in it and we're gonna see how it does. Thanks for watching so far in the video, guys. I appreciate it. I just got the scans back from my first roll of film and this guy, the Minolta Zoom Explorer. It was originally released in 1995 and it has a 3.5 through 8.9, let me double check that, 8.9 variable aperture. So as you zoom the camera in, aperture will change. So it's 3.5 on the wide end, 28 millimeter. When you zoom in, 70, 8.9. Uh, I absolutely love what comes out of this camera. Um, I'm really impressed with it. For $12.99, I can't remember if I picked this up uh, on sale or if it was this normal price. Uh, it's been a couple weeks, like I said. And on eBay right now, it is selling for about 60 bucks. But what's confusing on this space is you can find different cameras on different retailers for different prices. So eBay has it for 60 bucks. Amazon has it for, you can see right here, there's a bunch, a bunch of different prices. So make sure you do your research, check different sources before you purchase a camera. And obviously make sure it's tested if you're buying online or there's some sort of refund ability. Um, I always carry a battery, like I showed you guys in the video, just to make sure everything's firing, rock and rolling. You wanna make sure you got it going. Sorry, that probably blinded you, but Take a look at the photos. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good night, day, wherever you're watching this from. Until then.